Hi there. Let's continue with the next challenge in HackerRank. So I've got the HackerRank website or the dashboard to the left. I've got a Jupyter, no Jupyter Notebook to the right. That will help me to teach you little bits and pieces. Let's go ahead, solve challenge. And like before, please read the task really carefully. What is the task? Given the participants score sheet for your university sports day, you are required to find the runner up score. So I will have to write a function that finds the runner up between an array of students. So let's put the word pass here because I don't know what that function will look like. So I, I put the word pass there. I want to come back and write more details on that. So you are given n scores. So if you look at the input area, if you haven't seen my previous videos, one thing that you need to know is that this part of the code is the execution part. So let's call that execution part. It means that you have about a, a thing, a hammer from a warehouse, and you're going to use to frame the pictures on the wall. So this is actually picking up the hammer and doing that, putting the frames on the, on the wall. But this one is actually the function or buying or the hammer that you need to buy. So if you have bought the hammer, and if you're not going to use that, you can't put the pictures on the wall. So you need to buy it. And also you need to use it. You are given n scores. So n scores comes from the user, we are asking, Oh, how many students do you have? And they say, we've got 20. And then we store the scores of those 20 students in an array called ARR. So I could easily call this ARR, but for good practice of coding, I tend to keep things separate. All right, uh, let's look at the example. So they are saying there are five students and these are the scores. Let's jump to my Jupyter notebook and say, as an example, the scores are 2.23, 6, 6, and 5. So how can I find the runner up? If you don't know what is runner up, is the person who is one below the best person. So these two people scored six, so they're, they are the best people. And this person will be the runner up. Well, if I look at it, I can say, okay, not two, not three, six, six are the top. And so this is a runner up. But how can I get Python to do it? Well, the easiest way would be to sort this array from maximum to minimum. You can do the opposite, but it's easier if you sort it from maximum to minimum. So if you say array, sort reverse true mean it will sort it from max to min so let's look at it if i print it you will see that ah okay i have six six and five and three two so after i have sorted this list of numbers all i need to do is write a for loop and check if this is the top one i know that because i sorted it but based on the max to min if the second one is equal to this one, I have to skip it because that's not the runner up. The runner up is actually the one that is lower than the max. So say if I had another six here, I would have to say, this is the max. I know that. Is this less than the max? No. So go to the next one. Is this less than the max? No. Go to the next one. Is it less than the max? Yes. That's the runner up. So. Let's go through all scores in um, range of len of array because I want to look at everything. I want to make sure I'm testing every one of these uh, numbers. And I'm going to say if array of that index score does not equal to array of that score plus one. So if this one does not equal this one, which is going to fail the first and second time. But let's say if it was true, then your runner up will be your second array of score plus one. And then you can end the program here. If not, you have to continue doing this. So see what happens. I take the zero index. What is the zero index? This one. So I'm saying is array of zero index, which is six here. Let me just write it here. It is six. 
does that not equal array of 0 plus 1? So array of 1, which is this one. It does not equal that. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. They, are, they do equal. So that, that doesn't come into this bit and goes to this one and goes to the next op. So let me just delete those. You don't really need them. And if I come down after having all of that, and if I print runner up, you will be able to see that, ta-da, we've got runner up, which is five. Now, all I need to do now is put that instead of that password that I was I made as a placeholder. So I will say, okay, sort my array. What is the array called? Sorry, this is what the array is called up here. Array dot sort reverse equals true. Oh, true. Once you sort that, all you need to do is say for score in range of len of that array. If that array index score does not equal that array index score plus one, then runner up equals that array of score plus one, which is next one. And then if you found the runner up, break it. That's okay. If not, just continue. And at the end, once you have done that, you come out of the loop because from here to here is the loop. Come out of the loop and print runner up. Okay, so we have bout a hammer. We know what we, we, we want to do. All we need to do is now to apply it onto the picture frame that we want to put on the wall. So let's say I want to, what is the name of the function? The name of the function is runner up. And I'm going to apply it onto the array that I get from my user. Okay, the last thing we need to do is that this array comes in as a map object. You might really not understand what it does, but let me tell you that in this function, first thing we need to do is to convert that to a list. So what we get from the user, we need to convert to a list to be able to do that. Let's run this. Ta-da, it worked. So let's submit it and make sure all the tests run fine. Yep, we got all green, success, and we're ready to move to the next challenge. So if you liked this video, I would appreciate if you hit the like button. Uh, that's a small gesture from your side, but it really helps me develop my um, YouTube channel. Subscribe if you like and share it with your friends. Thank you.